the one that makes the heaven and the earth. The one that makes the heaven his throne and his, the earth his full still. The one that sets the earth upon the flood of waters. Oh, the one that created the heaven and the earth and everything that dwelleth in it. The one that was and is and is to come. The Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end and everything in between. Father Lord, we worship you this day. We shout hallelujah. We lift you up. We give you glory. Thank you for another month. Thank you for a new beginning. Thank you for a new record. Father, we bless you. Thank you for the miracle of sleeping and waking. Thank you for guiding our going and our coming. Thank you for keeping us in your secret place. Thank you for being our shelter, our refuge, our fortress. Daddy, we bless you. Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shama. The early alien, the beginning and the end, yes and amen. Father Lord, we worship you this day. We thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you are the guest of honor, you are the honored guest. Father, we bless your holy name. Capios, your Lord. Father, we worship you, Lord. Oh, forever we will praise your name forever for all you have done for what you are doing for what you are here to do father blessed be your name oh god we appreciate you indeed oh lord may your name be glorified forever thank you most holy god thank you most high god i submit myself oh lord as a vessel oh lord as a vessel, O Lord, as a vessel, O Lord, as a vessel to be used of you, O Lord. And when you are done, O God, when you are done, O God, when you are done blessing your people, when you are done giving them reasons to shout hallelujah, when you are done perfecting your miracles, when you are done completing what you have started, when you are done starting new things in their life, when you are done turning barrenness to fruitfulness, when you are done making new things, O Lord, when you are done restoring souls and lives, O Lord, Father, I will be satisfied to see you glorified. Thank you, Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Mm. Praise ye the Lord. I want to give you an analog or analogy. If you get a check suddenly delivered to your house or something you have been waiting for years and suddenly, suddenly, God did it. Or if there's been a barrier like the wall of Jericho and suddenly the wall collapsed and you, you got a passage, I bet you will not shout hallelujah like somebody that is still, that has done marathon fasting of 50 days. You know at that time you won't have energy again. Let somebody shout hallelujah! Amen. Amen. God will honor us in Jesus' name. Uh, the topic of today is Hallelujah. But let's quickly open our Bible to Revelation chapter 19. Revelation chapter 19. And that's where the, te the text and the theme of this year came from. Revelation 19, if you are there. Yes. Is it coming on our screen or we're having issue? Praise the Lord. Revelation 19. And after these things, I had a great voice of much people in heaven. Great voice of much people in heaven saying, Hallelujah. Salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord our God. For true and righteous are his judgments, for he had judged the great world, which did corrupt the earth with her fornication, and had avenged the blood of his servants at our hand. The Lord will avenge somebody this, this month. And again they said, Hallelujah. And her smoke rose up forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped God. That sat on the throne saying, Amen. Hallelujah. And a voice came out of the throne saying, Praise our God, 
all ye his servants, and ye that fear him, both small and great. Next verse. And I heard as it were the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thunderings, saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reign. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. There's a song that says hallelujah, amen. That's where they got the song. And the song we just sang, hallelujah for the Lord God omnipotent reign. Four times hallelujah was mentioned in just six verses. And I pray for somebody today. This month, you will shout your own hallelujah. Amen. In your own way. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Because only you understand what you are going through. Only you know what you are passing through. Only you know what is happening in your family. Only you know what is happening in your life. And only you will shout hallelujah. I was there. I knew when I had my own children. I knew when I had my own children. But I was there when my daughter was... I've been a midwife for years before I started practicing nursing here. But I was there when my daughter was having a baby. And the minute the baby full length came out, the first thing that came out of her mouth, praise God, hallelujah. Like somebody that had fought a war, and suddenly was relieved. So if you have been going through something, and suddenly you found a relief, and when I was a midwife, I've seen many mothers came through into that labor room. And the minute the full length of the baby comes through or came out, the next thing, you will see all sorts of language, you will see all sorts of words. It's a word of relief, a word of joy. Many steps, some people will not even know what they are saying because they are happy. I pray for you today. You will shout your own hallelujah in your own way in the name of Jesus. I shouted hallelujah last month. And I'm continuing to shout hallelujah. I shouted hallelujah because like the testimony I gave. I was, not because I was negligent. Or not because of my negligence. But it's because of the prompting of the Holy Spirit. That prompted me to do what I did. If I had not done what I did, it's just a phone call that I made. If I had not done it that day, if I had said it's normal, that's how they behave, that's what they do. If I had not made that phone call, the next phone call I heard would be the death of that individual. And the story would have changed. But I thank God today that the guiding of the Holy Spirit, listening to the Holy Spirit, one thing is for the Holy Spirit to guide, one thing is for the Holy Spirit to speak, and one thing is for you to listen. My sister, God said, don't remove the badge. Of course, I will have removed the badge myself, because you can't be going about with your badge. But for what, or maybe don't remove the badge or whatever. But when God is speaking, I pray that you will give us the grace to listen and to act in, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah is an expression of worship or rejoicing. When you are rejoicing, some people will think when you say praise the Lord, hallelujah. It is more than that. Praise the Lord. It is more than that. And I need to tell you today. Where you are, you hear people saying, Praise the Lord. Re you don't need to know why. Respond. Do you know why? When you respond to hallelujah, when you shout hallelujah, what is happening to this mic? Or is it me? When you shout hallelujah, the heaven will rise. Because why? That is the only language the heaven speaks. And there's a song like that. Um, that's a language never speak. And the heaven sang. I am privileged to join them sing. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Ale, as he said, is an Hebrew name, it's an Hebrew word which means joyous, praise in song, boasting in the Lord. Ja or Yah is another word for Jehovah or Yahweh, which means. When you say hallelujah, you are actually worshipping Jehovah. You are rejoicing in Jehovah. You are boasting in Jehovah. So, whenever you hear hallelujah, please do not hesitate to shout hallelujah. Because when you shout hallelujah, the heaven will rise. He said, if you look at that scripture, you said the 24 elders and the four beasts and the great multitude join them singing Hallelujah. But let's look at verse 2 of that scripture. The reason why hallelujah comes, or the reason why the hallelujah came in that scripture. In that Revelation 19, we're just going to look at verse 2. It says, For true and righteous are his judgments. For he had judged the great war with the earth with our fornication. With our fornication. Not avenge the blood of his servants at all. That means a battle was won. That means a battle was won. Hallelujah. 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 Hall the blood of Jesus. He avenged from her. And that's why they worship him and shout hallelujah. So what I mean, what I'm trying to say is that sometimes, most times, for you to shout your hallelujah, you must have won eventually. And I want to say, when Sister Moji was giving testimony, he occurred to me, he came to me straight away that some testimony I had, man. Because some things that happens to a man. So when you say, I want to give testimony, it must be a hard one that you are wishing for. But the, the, the bottom line is that you are going to win. Amen. In whatever you are going through today, you are going to win. Amen. And it is when you won that you will be shouting hallelujah. Let's look at my, uh, the book of Acts. Acts chapter 3. 4 to 6, and I will, uh, from the NLT. Acts chapter 3, 4 to 6. Somebody has mentioned it this morning about the man, uh, the man at the beautiful gate. Uh, uh, Peter and John, I want the NLT. If you can put that up, please. Peter and John looked at him intently. Peter and John looked at him intently, and Peter said, look at us. The layman looked at them eagerly. That's the word that caught me. Eagerly. Expecting some money. What are you expecting from God today? What are you expecting when you come to the house of God? But Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold for you. I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I will give you what I have in the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene. Get up and walk. He said, he looked eagerly. He was expectant. Are you expecting? Don't expect anything from me because I can't give anything. However, the God in me the living God, the only God, the only God that the choir sang about can give you much more. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Before the topic today, before the theme of this month, pastor came out here. I said two things. Bothers him about this church. We can't say amen. We can't shout hallelujah. God will deliver us in the name of Jesus. But you know what? The theme of the FOS is fullness of time. When your fullness of time comes, you will shout hallelujah. Yeah. And your fullness of time will come. So let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. For you to be able to shout hallelujah, your fullness of time must come. For you to be able to shout hallelujah, you must have won a battle. For you to shout hallelujah, something that has not happened to anybody must have happened to you. So, even if I say you are going to shout hallelujah, that you are going to shout hallelujah, that battle in your life that you have been fighting, 
that battle in your life or battles. Because some people, it's not just battles. They are battles like Job. And Job said, what I feared most. He was afraid to come down. Job was not only afraid of his children dying. Job was afraid because he was at the top. And he was afraid to come down. But what he feared most to come down, he actually came below down. He said, people that call me, that respect me, people that honor me, they are not laughing at me. He was afraid to come down, but he got even to the pit. But let's look at Job 42. Let's look at Job 42. Because at a point, he shouted hallelujah. And that will be the, 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 the lot of somebody in the name of Jesus. Amen. Job 42, verse 10. Job chapter 42, verse 10. When your fullness of time comes, you will shout your own hallelujah. And it's not late. It's not going to be late. When Job prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortune. In fact, look at that conjunction. That means it was better for him. Oh, do you know Brale come before? It was better for him. But as a matter of fact, in fact, the Lord gave him twice as much before. Oh, it has been better for him, oh. Ah, don't you know Brale come? That man, the usher in the church, blah, 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 blah. But when the, it is beyond human expression, he said, in fact, that in fact will come to you. People will talk about you, in fact, it is too much for her. You know when they use the word in fact, or as a matter of fact, they are trying to join two things together that we started here and we are conjuncting, we are putting it together to say it is even better than the first statement. That is the portion of somebody today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Job was in a mess. And I was saying yesterday when I was ministering at the Kingdom Chapel. I said, God will use your mess. Your mess will become somebody's message. Amen. And in their message, they will begin to give testimony. Amen. So it's not just turning a mess to a message. But the mess of Job... You know when your mess become a message? Uh -uh. You don't know Sister Nike. Uh -uh. How would you not know Sister Nike? Uh -uh. You know when people begin to say, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Bold and beautiful. You don't know her. She sits in the choir. You don't know her. Ah, you will know Sister Nike. Ah, she had three plates. Ah, I know Sister Nike. When your mess, when your mess became a message, and that message turns to somebody's testimony, that is the kind of word I am talking about. That is the kind of hallelujah I am talking about. But before that time comes, there is always a battle. There is always a battle to win. And because Job did not give up, in Job chapter 42, verse 10, it was not Job talking. Of. It was somebody now narrating the story of Job. That for all that he went through, the Lord restored his fortune. In fact, not just his fortune, but he doubled it. The Lord gave him twice as much as before. That will be the lot of somebody today in the name of Jesus. Yeah. But you have to be prepared. Because there is a battle to fight. And there is a battle to win. Not just fighting. Uh -uh. I watched that boxing. The caption. I was saying to my husband, I said, will he hear with his ear again? Uh -uh. That is how God will batter your enemies. Ah, uh ah. -uh. I've never seen anybody beat, being beaten like that, too. Ah. <laughs> it was beaten. But whatever that has been fighting you, as David disgraced Goliath, 
that the old people were singing that Saul killed a thousand and David killed the tens of thousands. That would be your portion in the name of Jesus. Because they were forced to shout hallelujah. And if you want to look at hallelujah itself, let's look at, let's look at um, that book of Joshua, chapter 6. Because they shouted hallelujah for real there. Joshua chapter 6. And let's look at from verse 1. When the gates, when there was no going forward, when the gate was shut, when there was no way out, when the enemies thought they got you, when the enemy thought that your own is finished, hey, when, in fact, when you will come out, you begin to shout hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Joshua chapter 6. Jericho were tightly shut because the people were afraid of the Israelites. No one was allowed to go out or in. But the Lord said to Joshua, I have given you Jericho. I have given you Jericho. God said it. I have given you Jericho, its king, and all its warriors. You, are, you and your fighting men should march around the town once a day for six days. And the rest is story. For the seventh day, on the seventh day, you are to march around the town seven times. With the priests blowing the horns. When you hear the priest give one long blast on the ram's horn, have all the people shout as loud as they can. Then the walls of the town will collapse. And the people can charge straight into the town. Everything. That's why the Bible says Psalm 24 from verse 7 says, Lift up your head, O ye gates, and ye everlasting door. Be ye lifted up, so that the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord mighty in battle. The Lord is his name. He said, lift up your heads. Who ye gates? I command you to lift up your heads. So when there is an obstruction, the open heaven of today talks about you have a battle to win. There is a battle to win. He said, are you afraid of the battle? Can you face the battle? Are you ready for the battle? That lame man looked at them with expectation. He can look at what are you looking unto God for? You have to look with expectation. You have to eagerly focus on God with expectation because the expectation of the righteous shall never be cut off. And he said, call upon me as I begin to round up this introduction to us as we go into the month of Hallelujah. Because today is an introduction. When we begin to get into our Bible study, we'll begin to dip deeper. We'll begin to talk more about it. About what hallelujah it is to us. What is hallelujah? And what we should be doing with hallelujah? You see, you are going to war. Have you ever... Okay. Like, right. Let me explain. When the children of Israel were bombarded... There are five nations in the book of Chronicles. When five nations gathered against them, don't you think they should go with weapons of war? war? But under that oppression, they were sinning. It's just like coronavirus. Coronavirus knocked now and said, okay, you don't invite me, but I am gone. That's what it means with those people, those nations attacking them. And they have nowhere to go. And under that circumstances, they were praising God. They were shouting. They were praising God. They were shouting hallelujah. And the Bible says, in that song, God then raised a bushman. Even though they are doing it under pressure, they are doing it under problem, they are doing it under fear, God still defends his name. That is what we happen to somebody in the name of Jesus. Amen. For you to be able to tell this hallelujah, for you to be, for hallelujah to come out of your mouth, and for people to join you, let's look at John chapter 16. John chapter 16. And verse 23. John chapter 16. And I'll read the NLT. At that time, you won't need to ask me for anything. I tell you the truth. You will ask the Father directly, and he will grant your request because you use my name. You haven't done this before. Ask using my name, and you will receive, and you will have abundant joy. Not Adejoke's name. Not Lawal's name. But he said, use my name. I made the analogy yesterday when I was preaching. 
I said, I go to Westminster. And I said, I've been there once, only once. But the security check was so tight. I never, I never in my life that there would be somewhere like that and there would be so much checking you and everything. You think you, I thought I was in a war zone. But if I then get there and present the Queen of England complimentary card, I will go through the check-in. But the amount of people that will rush at me, the amount of people that will give me the, the way to, to reach the Prime Minister, just because I came from the Queen. That is what God is telling you. Jesus said, using my name, to the Father, He will give you anything you ask, and then you'll be able to shout your hallelujah. Amen. And when you are shouting hallelujah, anytime hallelujah is called and you shout hallelujah, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, 24 others, four living creatures, the saints in heaven will respond to you. That is the only language they will respond to. That is the only language the ear of God will respond to. Then, whatever you are asking is because. The, that is the, only, the, the ultimate of grace. That is the only language you and I will be singing. That is the chorus we will be shouting. There is no other language. 24 7. Even me that has no voice to sing, I will join them. Say, there is a language. There is a song they sang. There is a chorus. And I'm privileged. It's a privilege. So when you're on earth and you are shouting hallelujah, it's a privilege that you, God will hear you. And I pray for somebody today that this month, every day you will shout hallelujah in the name of Jesus. That battle that will bring you to be shouting hallelujah ever will connect you in the name of Jesus. Shall we rise up? He said, anything you ask from the Father using my name he said, you have not asked till now. He said, ask. You see my name and your joy will be full. Your joy will be abundant. You are going to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I am before you on the heaven today. Give me reason to shout hallelujah throughout this month. And throughout the rest of my life in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Lord, I am before you on the heaven today. 